Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Riker, and coming to the another video review. And today, I'll be reviewing the WWE Elite Series 71, Nikki Bella. Just picked this up last night at Target, and I have to be honest with you, I did not think I was going to pick up this figure. I don't know, I just wasn't too sure about this figure for a while. But last night, uh, Target restocked Elite Series 71, so I took a, bear, a closer look at this figure, and you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm a Bella Twins fan, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Bella Army, so I was like, you know what, what the heck. So I picked it up and here it is. Anyways, before we take a look at the figure, we, as always, take a look at the packaging first. Right at the top, Series 71, Nikki Bella, True Effects. Of course, there's Nikki right there. Includes entrance shirt and hat, which is how it should be on all the boxes. It should say what it actually includes instead of just includes individual hands, which that just annoys the crap out of me. Anyway, we got a picture of Nikki right there. On the side, Nikki Bella, the collection. On the back has a picture of her from the event this figure's based on, which is Evolution. Got her, her, got her stats, you can pause right there if you want to read it. Then into her highlights and bio, you can pause right there if you want to read it. And the other figures in the set, we got John Cena, Jeff Hardy, Drew McIntyre, Adam Cole, of course, Nikki Bella, and The Big Show. John Cena, hard pass for me, because I already have the Elite 64, I think it is. And the only difference between that figure and this figure is the different head with his new hairstyle. So, pass. Jeff Hardy, I already got him, I already reviewed him maybe a couple months ago, which I got him right here. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Drew McIntyre, I really want to get him at some point, so maybe next time I go to Target, if they don't have him on the shelf, I'll ask an employee to go in the back and, and get him for me. Same thing with Adam Cole, because I really want the Adam Cole. So these two figures I'm really going after right now. Nikki, obviously I got her. I hope to get the Chase variant at some point. And the Big Show, wasn't too sure about him at first, but after seeing him last night at Target, I was like, you know, this figure's actually not too bad, so maybe I'll pick him up at some point. And also, maybe at some point, hopefully, I can get my hands on the the exclusives for this series, which are Cassius Ono and Paige, because I really want those two figures. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up Nikki Bella and see how fearless she really is. We'll be right back. All right, so here we have Nikki Bella. Open up and on the package. Now, this figure is absolutely fantastic. I love this figure. I mean, this might be my absolute favorite Nikki Bella figure ever made. It's just fantastic. Mattel pretty much nailed it. Anywho, first up, her accessories. First accessory, obviously, is her hat. I can, I can never say that. There you go. She says, go fearless on the side. Black rim, which I believe the, the Chase variant has a white rim, and it has a different saying on it. It has the same mold that we used, too. even has the little symbol on the side there. You can get to focus. There you go. Oh, pretty nice. And for the first time ever, a removable shirt, because obviously during her entrance, she rips her shirt off, and uh, and you see there's, um, there's a, obviously her entrance gear underneath it. Well, her gear underneath it, my bad. Anyways, it is Velcro removable on the front. It says, do you more fearless? And, the, and then it's Velcro removable, and you can just take it right off. It is kind of a pain in the butt to get on because of her hair. So you had to move the hair out of the way. And then just slide it down the arms. And there we go. It's stuck on the bicep. All right, there we go. And underneath it is her wrestling attire that she wore at Evolution when she challenged Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. Head scan is okay. Uh, we've seen this head scan before, but this is the first time with the True FX. It's not bad. It's okay. It could be better. Yeah, there's nice sculpting on the hair. There's her top says Bella Lucian. Whereas uh, the Chase variant is just like the standard red, and it says, uh, I think it says Fearless. And on the back, Bella Army, number two. Nice detail on the trunks. And her socks it says Fearless on one, and Nikki on the other. Of course, a couple of paint defects everywhere, classic Mattel. And her standard red shoes with Fearless on the front.
Awesome. Anyways, for uh, four little comparisons here. Uh, here she is with her sister, Brie Bella, from Elite Series SMV8. Whoa, 68, my bad. There we go. Pretty cool. So there's the Bella Twins there. And then comparisons with other Nikki Bella figures I have. Here's Basic Series 52. Yeah, so the chase variant of this figure has a more similar outfit to this. Basically, it's the same black trunks and everything, but the socks are more like this instead of up to her knees. And the top basically has something similar to this with the Fearless Nikki thing. And then last but not least, the battle pack in the green attire. Ooh. Articulation is pretty much what you expect uh, from a women's figure. Head can rotate 360. Can't look down or up, unfortunately. Arms will rotate 360, go in and out, rotate at the bicep, at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, and that's it. Has an upper torso joint, she moves all over the place. Swivel waist, legs can go forward about that far, and back to the reserve position. They can go in and out, but mine's look really tight. Rotate the thigh. Single jointed knee because this was before they added the double jointed knees. Swivel at the shoe and has a hinge at the ankle, but no ankle pivot. So that's about it. So overall, this figure is great. It's, it's a fantastic figure. This might be the best Nikki Bella figure that they've made so far. It's just great. You see, I like the attire. The head scan's okay. I love the the uh, the Velcro removable shirt. And the hat's pretty cool, too. Uh, there's really nothing else that can make me really say, wow, this figure is phenomenal. The only complaint I would have is that I do wish that, it, that the head scan was a little bit better, and I do wish that they would have found a way to give her the double jointed knees which, that we eventually got in the next series, Elite 72, with Becky Lynch. So aside from the head scan and the shirt, it's kind of a pain in the butt to take on and off but aside from that it's a phenomenal figure so i'll give this figure a 9 out of 10 so if you are a nikki bella fan or a member of the bella army as you can find this figure for a good price definitely pick her up if you can anyways thanks for watching guys please rate comment if you can and subscribe be sure to follow me on social media facebook twitter and instagram links are down below check those out and you can message me anytime you want i'll get back to you as soon as i can anyways thanks for watching guys please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time take care guys bye Stay fearless.